and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for the return of Grixis Control. It's been a little bit since I've played Grixis Control because as y'all know, I've been playing the Grixis Midrange recently, uh, mostly because we've been having good success with it. So I've just been kind of keeping up with it. But I did want to uh, stop by with Grixis Control again uh, because I do think that Grixis Control is in a pretty good spot right now because I think that it it has, you know, like while you're not winning 100% of the time, but I think it has the tools to beat Vampires and Scapeshift, which are the two biggest uh, decks in the format right now. You know, they're, they're the uh, decks you really need to be worried about um, right now. And I think that the Grixis Control has the tools to take down both of them. In eight days, I guess, is the next... Um, Mythic Championship Qualifier on Arena. And this deck here is probably my favorite deck to play right now. It's the fav like, favorite is in like the, the most likely deck that I'll be playing in that. So if that's the case, we're going to need a lot more practice with Grixis Control here, especially how I haven't played it in a little while. Um, you know, I played it a little bit today. You know, like kind of like with with this list here for a little bit of practice before stream, but um, yeah. So like the the next like few days and stuff, definitely like rank up Sunday and and everything. We may be playing some some more Grixis control um, every other day or so until this weekend to to tune it because um, there's a lot of little card choices that could that could go. Um, you know, like whenever you're playing a reactive when you're playing a reactive deck, really hammering out the exact 75 that you want to be playing takes a little time anyway uh, about our list here um nothing nothing too different from the last time we played it the the th only change that, is, that i made in the main deck um i guess i made a couple of changes but i took out the discoveries and instead of playing discovery because you know it's it's kind of slow um but i, I put in a 26 land because Discovery is something that does help you hit your land drops. So I, I wanted that 26 land in here. And I wanted another Swamp. Because I wanted 19 black sources for Nicol Bolas Dragon God. So we've seen playing uh, Grixis lists. Uh, there's there's times where the triple black is kind of hard. If you draw too many Steam Vents and Sulphur Falls and stuff like that. I'm going with 3 Steam Vent, 4 Sulphur Falls. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be the other way around. 4 Steam Vent, 3 Sulphur Falls. We'll kind of, uh, you know, kind of see that. I could, you know, we don't, like... Steam Vents is, is, of course, a, a more reliable card than Sulphur Falls, but we can't uh, take too much damage from our lands here with our Grixis deck. Um, and so I put that in and, and got an extra... We have an extra two-mana removal spell. Um, got an extra Legion's End. I was only playing two, and I was playing one Cast Down, one Tyrant Scorn, but I think Cast Down is really important, uh, again, especially, especially against like the Vampire deck how they have uh, like Sanctum Seeker and Champion of Dusk and stuff like that that Tyrant Scorn doesn't kill. I want that cast down in there. And instead of Command the Dread Horde, I got Ugin. Um, Ugin's just such a powerful Planeswalker that I think this this is a good one of to have at the top end. It can, uh, you know, get rid of enchantments that, that I wouldn't normally be able to get rid of. And it can also just be um, a clock also by just making two twos and getting card advantage that way. I also had two Narsets and two Chandras before, but I'm moving to three Narset, one Chandra. Um, you know, Narset's very good, of course, in, in uh, blue mirrors, keeping people from not being able to draw more than one card a turn. And, of course, with these Scapeshift decks all playing a bunch of Hydro Crasises, keeping them from drawing a bunch of cards with that is convenient. Chandra does a really... Like, Chandra kind of looks weird in a control deck here, but Chandra does a good job of fighting Little Teferi, with that second to zero ability to make the elemental creature tokens. And that's, of course, really key in this format. And basically, probably like as long as Teferi's in the format, because that card is probably just going to see a ton of play all the time. And so doing so Chandra does a good job of that. And that minus two ability is really nice in this deck. We have a lot of cards that we want to recast, especially when you're playing discard like Thought Erasure, being able to re recast your discard spells can be clutch all right so we're gonna play over and ranked today we're gonna play five matches we should get to it grixis control matches can take a little longer so here we go we're gonna play five matches see how they do
Yeah, the the four mana bolos is pretty important, but yeah, um, it's worse. But you could replace it with Rekindling Phoenix for a similar kind of card. But that's that's another card that's rotating. Um, but yeah, the four mana bolos is very good in the deck. Well, if they are control, we have like Chandra and Kefnet. If they're creature heavy, we have Ritual of Soot. Alright, so we're starting off with Scapeshift. So our game one ma matchup against Scapeshift is pretty bad. Don't expect to win too many game ones, which is why I have such a heavy sideboard for this matchup. I guess I didn't really mention this before. Is that, I get rid of that thing. Thank you. I didn't really mention this before, but um, our game one is is tuned more towards aggro, like more towards beating like vampires uh, with our our main deck, and our sideboard is really for control and scape shift and other things like that. So like we're so decks that are not aggro game one are going to be tougher for us. That's kind of what you have to do, though, with... That's kind of what you have to do with uh, control decks, is you have to... Not to brag, but I'm totally the best pyromancy student. Pick something to fight game one and have your sideboard um, fill in your holes. So this is just deal one damage to them. So it's either put one loyalty on Chandra or deal one damage to them. Not really seeing why one damage would, would help us out too much. So this is risky, of course, because if they just have any removal for Kefnet, then my Chandra dies also, where I could have just cast Ritual of Soot and made sure to save my Chandra. But my Chandra is just not really doing very much for me here in this matchup, and especially right now. So I'd rather just have Kefnet in play. And if they, you know, bounce Kefnet and kill Chandra, that's really bad for me, but that's just kind of how it goes. And I'll, you know, move on from there. I would like to save these or after, like, a scape shift when they have a bunch of zombies. Probably this one right here, Riser. If I had to choose a, a favorite deck. I like the band arc bow we're going to be playing later a lot too, though. We could really use, like, not drawing more lands. <laughs> really use, you know, drawing spells. That'd be nice. Don't worry. 
I brought company. Nope. More lands. So many lands. Because didn't I start? Didn't I just? Okay, so I kept. I kept Ritual Soot, Kefnet, and Chandra with four lands. So we drew a Cry of the Carnarium and six lands so far. Opponent's gone through 15 lands so far, if they're planning on scape shifting. Alright, so that's another 6. So that's 21 lands so far. I, I did see that Chris Clay joined that game gods unchained but i don't know anything about it at all like i don't i don't know what a blockchain tcg is that i don't know what that means So yeah, they have the, the ability with Field of Ruin to get three of those things down at instant speed. I mean, I guess so. Why is it always lands? Can't believe Mother Ludi gave us homework. Me later. That's more like it. This is unbelievable. The only card we're drawing is this Kefnet again. Besides that Kefnet being in there, it was just like seven lands in a row, I think. Oh, I can't even do this because it's a stupid little Teferi. Shuts down Chandra. Wow, that was really frustrating. It was just nothing but lands. Alright, so we got 10 cards to bring on in here. 
Kefnet does not seem very good in this matchup. At least not it's not very good against Little Teferi. I guess I could say that. I of course don't want cast down. Maybe maybe I don't need the two Noxious Crafts to go with the three Bedevils. Hmm. Maybe I don't play Ugin and Kefnet. Okay, well, maybe I have too many cards for this matchup. All right, two Noxious Grass, three Bedevil. We're taking out a couple Bedevils. And... Asut. I guess one duress. The reason why duress is important in this matchup, same with Auto Erasure, is because when they do have Teferi in play and they can instant speed scape shift, I don't have instant speed. You know, well, obviously I can't even play instance when Teferi's in play, but I can't stop that from happening. So the only way to stop that from happening is to have a discard spell that forces them to play the scape shift during your main phase allowing you to use your sweeper. Yes, four mana bolus is is good. Uh, you know, pressures their hand, makes them discard a card. I like that quite a bit. And then, yeah, you can flip. Um, start getting your other Planeswalkers back and, and everything. Yes, the Ravager is definitely better than Kefnet, where you just play Kefnet, as we saw there, and they just kill it or bounce it with the fairy or things like that. All right, smart play by the opponent to get a field of the dead in play. So we're still going to have to deal with one field of the dead. So we have Ceratops. Three Ceratops. Okay. And eight, two Agent of Treacheries? Those are not cards you see very often. Ugh, Ixalan's Binding. Gross. How many Veil of Summers we got? Two. Two Veil of Summer. That's a good one. I don't like seeing that circuitous route that turns on their field of the dead really fast. I don't love where we're at here. Especially how that they have that Dovin's veto also. Don't love where we're at here at all. Wow. Ugh, that's that's a killer. There are so many keep an open mind.
and drew their one Ixalan's Binding also. Man, that, that Ceratops into Ixalan's Binding as their draw steps. Those were really good ones. Maybe I should have taken the Circuitous route with that Thought Erasure. Keep them from having all this mana. Yeah, my opponent played a Field of the Dead on turn two, so that I couldn't, so I could only take three, because you can't take the one that's in play. So that really hurt. No, I don't. And the six Alon's binding was an a is an absolute killer, obviously. So I either draw a card or I bounce the Ixalan's Binding. They're going to rebinding the Ravager, so all it does is make them discard a card. Hey, Sani. Hey, Holy Shade. Fury. <laughs> you have no weakness that I cannot exploit. Bounce Binding doesn't really do anything for me, though. I've got time. This this game's just over. They got me. I I think I took the wrong card with Auto Razor. I think I needed to take the Circuitous Route. The Circuitous Route was such a big deal. And then obviously that Ixalan's binding too. But it's tough when Unmort Ego doesn't get all four Field of the Deads. It's tough. Yeah, I lose I lose one match and therefore Grixis is not good. Ashiok is horrendous in this matchup. <clears throat> Compared to Blood Sun and Unmoored Ego, the cards that I'm actually playing. It's much, much Don't worse. Worry. I got this. Thanks so much there, Cater. Thanks for the uh, Twitch Prime sub there. I appreciate that. Hey, Matu. Need a good angel deck? <clears throat> Angels are in a little rough spot right now with some of these cards that have been printed that are very efficient angel killers like Fry and a Noxious Grasp. But 
with that being said, we do need some more angels. Um, my my favorite angel deck that I've been playing recently has been Kalia. Uh, Kalia and Friends is a deck I played a couple of times last week, I think. I think the last time I played it was Sunday. And I've been enjoying that. Kalia is a really fun card to play. life. Thanks, Cater. Glad you're enjoying the YouTube channel. They should just target their Arcanist with that shock there to draw a card. This scape shift with Teferi, like the inth like this field of the dead deck, it's it's a really, really um annoying card to be playing against. And I I've heard a lot of the same kind of thing that a lot of people are just aren't even playing magic anymore until rotation because it's it's just really obnoxious. And I understand it. It does feel worse than even like Nexus, because like Nexus, you know, you can have your enchantment removal and I think it's easier it's easier to disrupt Nexus, but whenever they're just playing a bunch of lands and then, you know, ramping, and then just at seven mana, you just play Teferi and then you can't interact with them anymore and they just end step escape shift and you can't play instants. And you you're dead. That's pretty rough. schemes to attend to let your weak minds crumble. This is drawing extra cards. I train every day. No one is more I'm not sure if I, I'm actually supposed to minus the Narset. Yeah, I will. Hone your prowess. The the thing the thing about minusing here is it does incentivize my opponent to attack the Narset instead of attacking the Dragon God, which is good for me. No, I, yeah, I understand. Teferi, while Teferi 5 is really good, it's just good at, like, you know, drawing cards and everything, and, you know, just a, a really good rate Planeswalker, but Teferi 3 just doesn't let you play Magic, and that's much more infuriating. All right, so we need more interaction with our hand. 
for cry the or for uh god's willing and pump spells and stuff like that and some more removal spells so cry the carnarium hasn't looked great here but they could certainly be on war boss even though like cry didn't look good in that matchup but that match there um ugin gets around god's willing it's colorless Kefnet can do some blocking, but not spectacularly. I think, again, we get rid of Chandra in this matchup. Chandra's more our anti-control card. And I want to take out a Narset. Narset was fine there, but generally... Hmm... Ugin does get rid of around God's Willing, but Ugin's really expensive at six mana. I'm gonna get rid of Ugin, I think. Yeah, I would, I would assume three mana to fairies playable in modern. I don't really know why it wouldn't be. It's quite good. Um, I guess NS Kanta and maybe one Duress. I gotta get rid of something. That was Pumped Up Kicks by Foster the People. Whenever you want the name of the song, like that song, it's over now. That's why I, I said it, but you can always just do exclamation point song, and that'll give you the name of the song. All right, we're going to need to find a blue mana source for this Kefnet. I'm certainly not going to get rid of a land where we're at here. Hmm. That's pretty unfortunate. <laughs> that card dodges, cast down, and cry, and gets the God's Willing back. I I possibly should have just taken Cry and then cast down to the Arcanist. Or sorry, taken God's Willing and then cast down the Arcanist. With them, especially with them having Season of Growth. I, th I think I thought Erasure the wrong card. I think I should have thought Erasure the God's Willing. So, you know, lesson learned. So I'm saying that I need, need a lot more practice with the deck. For the week. Lesson learned there. Yeah, I, I agree. War, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of there with you a fair amount. War of the Spark and M20 have not been... They've not been my favorite sets either. I haven't been very... Are there? Yeah, they're not my favorite sets. It looks like we're going to game three. Probably. All 
All right, I need to get the third duress back in here. So we really saw the see the power of God's willing with season of growth here. There's zero chance that anything is banned before rotation. That's not wizards. That's just not a good idea. You know, like, people have invested, you know, a good amount of money in, like, building, like, scapeshift tech and stuff in paper, and they're not... Wizards isn't just going to tell those people that your investment is just gone now. Like, there's... That's just not a thing that's going to happen. That would not be a good business practice with it with rotation in less than seven weeks away. I don't think we need to ego, God's willing. But, yeah, I don't think we need to do that. But anyway, we have a new subscriber, Ernie. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate that. Got to get my hype votes in the chat. You're awesome there, Ernie. Thank you so much. In exchange for eternal service. It's likely they have another God's Willing. Yep. Okay. So definitely get the other dress in. Narnan! <laughs> Dedicating the sub to Hawkeye this month. Thank you so much there, Narnan. Well, thanks, Ernie. Yeah, glad I can entertain you while you travel. There. Checking on in from the YouTube channel. Thanks again, Ernie. All right, I'm going to cut one calf nap. And, and here we go. <laughs> no, Ernie. Go buy a Hawkeye toy or something. Hawkeye probably could use another toy. By another, I mean like a toy. I don't really get Hawkeye toys. And he's always up here trying to play and stuff. Don't think I need to turn one duress. We can turn to duress. Two season of growth. Ugh. Uh, that's that was a card that I wanted to play with or wanted to take with season of growth. Uh, there's two of them here. I guess I could take Gideon. It still just leaves, leaves him two season of growths. Yeah, I probably just gotta take one. Really want to draw a Dragon God. I guess they have Fry for Dragon God.
Maybe they don't find another creature for a little bit. No, I've never heard of the band star set. That's a good one. Mind and body should Problem if I minus, I get rid of the Kefnet. Wind and wave. That's fine. I have just the trick for this. Cool. That's a card I wanted to see. No, do not want to see that though. Haste creature. Boo. Good news they don't get to draw extra cards. They play the Defiant Strike and they don't draw any cards. Oh, right. They're just going to Domri's Ambush. All right. Well, Ambush out of here. You are a mighty warrior. At least. I concede. I really hope they don't have another haste creature. Please, no haste creature. That's a beating. It's like the difference between the game there, you know, like if. They don't have a haste creature, our dragon god takes over. It's so much scrying and drawing though with the season of growth. I mean, I'm glad I took the other one at least, but they had two of them. No! your service. Prepare for battle. Definitely thought about bedeviling the Arcanist um, there because the Gideon was indestructible because the Arcanist just draws multiple cards. Like, the Arcanist is actually a little more threatening. And I was thinking if, if we draw Nicol Bolas Dragon God, that would be good to bedevil it on my turn so that, we, so that we can play it. But then, you know, if we draw, like, Cast Down or Ritual of Such or something like that, we could use that on the Arcanist, though. But we drew Dragon God, and now I don't have... Don't have the ability to play Dragon God right now. I, I certainly have to kill the Arcanist. Because that thing's just going to draw a lot of cards. But that would have been really good for me if I would have just bedeviled on their turn and then untapped Dragon God Gideon. This is the problem with the Season of Growth card. Like every, every single one of their draw steps is awesome. believe in you we tried out both the feather decks this and the the red white uh recently here on the channel the naya and the red white and as i talked about then at that point um The Naya version here is a lot better against Control because of Season of Growth, but I liked the the Boros more because a lot of people are aggro or, or escape shift and stuff 
like that. Like this is not something you want to be doing against Cape Shift, for example. It's just too slow. But against Control, which is what, of course, what my deck is. That's using the growth cards. Is incredible. I against many foes like you. But I like I like Boros Feather more in the in the metagame in general. But against me, I can't I can't beat Season of Growth. So GG opponent had three or two Season Growths also. All right, so we got three Master Tree things. Let's get. I want to get this Kalia. So we have to get this first. And then I guess we're getting Pulse of Marasa, because then we're going to work. We'll get Shared Summons next, and then work towards Omnath after that. But cool. We got Kalia. Nice. Alright, it's not the best day for us so far. We're not having any opponents stumble at all. And help us out at all. But that's okay. Green decks. I haven't seen very many green decks around, but this is our second straight green deck. So Leaf Kendrew draws a card, this draws a card, plus does a whole lot of other stuff, so we'll just take that thing. Um, Interesting. Alright, so Ravager is a little... Yeah, we're gonna keep Ravager. It's a little awkward how it's not, you know, it's not an extra mana for Dragon God. So Narset, Narset here would turn off Hydroid Crisis from being an awesome top deck. Um, that's why I'm considering Narset instead of Dragon God. Because, like, Crisis is about the only thing that I'm kind of scared of, right? Like, like, even, like, Nissa isn't scary here. Crisis is about it. I mean, obviously, mass manipulation, but, you know, that's know mass manipulation is, like, unbeatable all the time. Um, let's get you. I 
I should just be attacking with Nickel Bolas, right? Just Legions end this Lanwar off and attack. Put thoughtfulness before action. I have a few openings for minions. If I will wipe your bloodline, my intellect is without limit. Time planes warp my schemes are never ending. Well, our deck definitely looks better whenever my opponent draws only mana creatures and lands. Number two. Get a couple Noxious Grasps in here. And I don't love Legion's End for this matchup. Or Cry the Carnarium. I guess Cry does get rid of Risen Reef, though. We could go like the route of trying to ego Krasis and even though it's card disadvantage for us, the, the amount of card advantage Krasis can can provide it just be gone. Um That'd probably be over Acolyte of Flame. Hey, Caesar. That's okay. Or I just play an elder spell instead. No, I'll play I'll play the one ego. I have a few cards that we'd want to take though, Crisis Nissa uh, manipulation. Those are the scary things. We don't know if they're manipulating or not. Didn't get to see too much of their deck. Because they drew pretty poorly. Yeah, happy Friday there, Caesar. All right, so they have Veil of Summer. Definitely Veil of Summer. What else you got over there besides Veil of Summer? Gate Finale Philly Maze with the Twitch Prime sub. <laughs> Make Lightning Bolt standard legal. <laughs> we'll see if that happens. Not likely, but you never know. Thanks there, Philly. We'll keep this. It's going to be a, a good card. Um, I kind of want to play 
the Narset, though. So let's say... Oh, that's that's sub number four on the day. I was one off, actually. So I think I want to play Kefnet here. Playing Kefnet means they, they probably go to Fairy Bounce. So then I can go Kefnet and Thought Erasure again. All right, well, they have Veil of Summer up now. That certainly makes Thought Erasure right worse. I'll protect you. But we get that out of there. Now our, our Kefnet is, like, pretty good now. I don't think I want to let them just cycle Veil of Summer here. Darn. Ooh, okay. Okay, not going with, cr cr not going with a 4-4 four, four Krasis. Here goes nothing. Wow. My prowess is unmatched by my peers. Well, keep an open no negate there. You are welcome. Thanks for that sub there. So, of course, the problem with attacking with Kefnet means they get to kill my Narset. I do not want them to kill Narset. I, want, I need this Narset to shut down Krasis. Of course, other problems I don't get to play instance right now. Eric's our fifth sub of the day. Yeah, if we kill Teferi, we can Noctress Grass with instant speed, but they also just have Veil of Summer and Negate as well. Let's try this. Do they just have another Veil of Summer? Why'd they do five? I mean, well, obviously five it makes makes Crisis bigger than Kefnet, but... I hope they don't have another Veil of Summer. Hone your prowess. Hooray, not another Veil of Summer.
Basically, I'm trading Narset for Risen Reef if I make this attack. This is hardly my worst defeat. Yeah, Legion Den value is really good. Narset was critical, not letting them draw extra cards with that that crisis. Wow, I am surprised they didn't just attack Narset with the two creatures, sacrifice one of them, but then have Crasis be gone. So the big question is if they're playing mass manipulation or not. It's either mass manipulation or Nissa. I think I think just manipulation is just like the card that like would completely wreck me. I think we can handle a Nissa just fine. They may not even have manipulation in their deck though. They have one. And they have a bunch of yeah. So we could have taken four Nissas, but they have time wipe, devout decree. But yeah, this this manipulation card would just really wreck me. Um, I think I'm just going to say no attacks. Yeah, they should have they should have had both their creatures attack Narset and then play Krasis. That's that's definitely what they should have done there. I'm pretty fine with Narset dying at this point. Gotten through three crises. This how I always have an answer. They've they've just given up. I know what must be done. My presence alone will go. Ether itself serves me. Whoops. All right, one and two. Uh, we lost one to Scape Shift, which was disappointing. And we lost to Naya Feather because Season of Growth is completely messed up. So that's what, uh, those are our losses there. All right, Fairmount. It's all, hey, it's all good. It's all good. Glad to have you here each and every day.
and and everything. And I'll see you tomorrow. Let's see. Steam vents are our worst land. We need only black mana now. But I don't have I don't have hardly any lands that are not black sources anymore. Only five of the remaining twenty four lands are not black sources. Yeah, yeah, definitely variants there with that our other loss. Um you know, game game one is rough against Cape Shift. Like, you know, game one we're we're really poised against aggro. Game one, like we're not favored at all game one, but I like our games two and three. You know, I had I had turn three on Mordigo on the play, but my opponent dropped a field of ruin on turn two. Um What the heck? Which wait, that one goes to the graveyard. It's not black. Which certainly hurts. Study, focus. I just and want to burn stuff they drew two of like their best, two of their uh, best possible cards after that, with the drawing a circuitous route to ramp, and then an Ixalan's bind, like their one Ixalan's binding, in their deck. They were playing a bunch of shifting Ceratops, which is kind of tough too. But, but yeah, I didn't. I have the you know I have the three Blood Suns in the sideboard, which is a big part of. Winning this matchup. As long as they don't have little to fairy, we're going to be good here with these all these legions ends. Like we should be good as long as they don't have little to fairy. And yeah, we can recast legions end with the Chandra, of course. Nickel Bolas in play. The immortal Nicole Bolas will be your end. Your existence is pointless. Study? Focus? I just want to burn stuff already. But they have they have one card in their deck I'm very scared of. That's Teferi. Hopefully I don't have that card. Yeah, or we could we could also get the discard. Yeah, we could also draw Thought Erasure if they have a little Teferi.
I haven't played Escape Shift yet, so they've just gone through 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we've gone through 13 lands. That's a good one. Good one just to have. Grazer and Deputy. Keep on getting loyalty counters on this Dragon God. I mean, do I just want to get rid of this Deputy? I don't actually have removal for Deputy. Yeah, because they'd have to draw Teferi and Escape Shift. Darn. <laughs> I was just thinking how, like, Krasis could, could turn into Escape Shift and Teferi. Ugh. The third Krasis, come on. You have tasted but a drop of power. <laughs> so just a growth spiral. If it's something that we needed to, we could have minus Chandra to thought to thought erasure if it's something that we needed to. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I know my responsibility. Trust me, I have a plan. I 
another feel of the dead. Conceivable. <laughs> you have no weakness that I cannot exploit. Don't worry. I brought company. I really should have seen that coming. Um. <clears throat> yeah, Legion's End has been really clutch for us, for sure. That's a really bad sign for us. I am not going to sit this one out. No, that was definitely the worst card we could see because that doesn't let me Chandra in Legion's End. Oh, your efforts okay. are futile. Never mind, that's good. That's also a good one. Well, we drew two good ones back to back. I have other skills. One, two, three, to one, two, three, to. one, two. I outsmarted you eons ago. Only time will tell. Okay. Fight fire with fire. So how many lands have they gone through? Three, six, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21. So they've gone through 21 lands so far. Tell me if you've seen this one before. So we can't have too many more lands. My schemes are never ending. They have twenty four cards left. I have thirty three cards left. My power is boundless. So deputy. Unmatched. All right, so good to know. So they have they have deputy detention in their in their graveyard. Also, that Nicol Bolas, the Arisen, can grab deputy of detention to take out a bunch of zombies. I'm telling Mother Ludi on you. So we've gone through twenty one lands already so they don't have that they can't so they probably have like what like eight lands left or so they just act six one two three four five six Did grab six lands. So that's 27 lands they've gone through. Can we fight through every single one of their lands? I think we can. Out in the streets. Uh. 
All right, they put it on top. Thanks for that, deputy. Appreciate appreciate it. All right, do plus two, draw two. All the cosmos are mine to control. I can't believe Mother Ludi gave us homework. Those who cannot perceive beyond, I have just the trick for this. Guess maybe I should grab Ritual of Soot. I'm thinking like killing Teferi there, but I guess I guess I should grab Ritual of Soot. I guess I drew, took the wrong card. Um. Yeah, I should have taken. Just taking the ritual of said. Oh, they have, they have no more basics or gates. Alright, you're gonna draw two. My knowledge is endless. I'm at twenty-three. You're gonna put a loyalty counter on these things. All right, sweet. We're going to be able to ultimate five mana nickel bolus to win the game the next turn. So they had that that draw step to kill us or get rid of nickel bolus. All right, got game one. Yeah, they, so we got rid of 27 lands. Usually those decks play like 28, 29, but yeah, they're basically out of lands there. So we want Grasp, we want Blood Sun. We want Ego, and we want Duress. I guess I get rid of Kefnep, and I think we're saying get rid of Ugin. We saw how good Chandra can be. Like, we saw Chandra that game, you know, get to minus on the Legion's End twice. You know, Chandra got to cast two more Legion's Ends, which certainly helped us out. I have too many cards. Maybe I cut a land in this matchup. Just goes long and everything. Yeah, let's cut a land. That's smart. Um, the top, the list at the top of goldfish is playing twenty eight lands. Sounds a boot, right? I'm going to trim a couple other things than what we did last time. I'm going to trim a Ravager. Gosh, I don't know. I don't know what to take out for the other two cards. I guess one of the Duresses and the Chandra, I guess. Maybe I, maybe I get rid of one of the Soots? I don't know, Sits. A really good card. I could cut another Bedevil. Isn't this sad when you have like this hand of like awesome cards, but you have to mulligan because there's no lands? And that's why your hand is just a whole bunch of awesome cards. Really, I take out one land, I go back to 25 instead of 26. And my deck just does this to me. You're lucky we won game one, deck. I'm not happy with you right now. All right, so we need to keep Thought Erasure into Blood Sun. Need to keep that. So we have to ditch two cards. We're going to definitely have to ditch one of these. Which I guess is going to be Soot if we have Blood Sun. And then either get rid of the Bolas also or get rid of this land. 
And I think we'll get rid of the land. We're on the draw. Smart. All right, so we'll see if they have that crappy green card that I hate. Dovin's Veto. They don't have any blue mana. I could risk it. I have I have the other Thought Erasure, even if they draw blue mana. Let's get rid of this route. Er, I guess I'm going to want that. That's not untapped blue. That's smart. I put the I kept the card on top. That's a good field to ruin. And they went after red because blood sounds red. Also makes sense. But luckily for us, we had an extra red, and we did not have an extra blue though. This isn't a fight you can win. Sure, Bob. Show him the corn nut. Might be a bad idea. Yeah, I don't know if, if bouncing that is so great here. Because I just get to replay and draw a card. Just letting me draw another card. I've got it. But we're not finding lands. Wow, tapping the blue source. Where are my lands at? I put that one on, on the bottom, but we shuffled because the field of room. We put it back in the deck. Why not rip out the veto while they're tapped out? Because the the Thought Rager is just always going to trade with the veto. So like, well, whether they're tapped out or not tapped out, the Thought Rager is trading with the veto. But getting Teferi out of here means they don't get to bounce that Blood Sun later. So while well, wanted to do that while they were tapped out. Like this is still just going to trade for the veto. We don't get the surveil. They could have deputy detention to take two blood suns. Yeah. I can no longer stand by and watch. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. If only. I mean, we may die. I guess we have Cry the Granarium and Ritual of Set and stuff, though. Where's our lands? Land. You gotta be kidding me. More like it. I am glad that they're playing continually playing lands. That's fine. They should be holding the lands in their hand since they don't do anything right now. That's super fine. This might be a bad idea. I 
It's only a matter of time. <sighs> we'll draw a land eventually. Who knows when it'll be. over there? Nope, bunch of cards I'm not too scared of right now. Yeah, we are about to hit a really nasty land pocket. That is true. Come on, play a land. There you go. So each land they play, each land they get out of their deck, is another land we don't have to worry about making zombies. So they're thinning their deck to try to draw just spells all the time, but that gets a scape shift out of their de out of their hands. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do next turn. If I'm supposed to just get a, another Blood Sun in play to help lock them out, or if I get this Ravager, make them discard a card. I'm not really exactly sure. Or we could go Dragon God and start drawing cards. I think because I have Ritual of Soot, I don't need to be too scared if Sun leaves. That was my worst play into Dovin's Veto, I suppose. But we can we can flip Ravager and get that thing back later. Ow. Stop. All right, well, now I definitely need to have double sun here. I don't know about definite, but... All right, so double sun or I flip my walkers, flip this thing. I have defeated death. Is it death? Uh, yeah, I didn't attack first. Whatever, we're not we're not winning by damage. Doesn't matter. We gotta start digging. You show remorse, I'll show restraint. I've got it. So that's the third one of those. Right. Is that just the second one of those? No, yeah, that's the third. Okay. I guess they have another counter spell. I'm in huge trouble because I don't have because I can't use my discard. So yeah, another another counter spell. I'm in huge trouble. I guess I didn't really take another counter spell into consideration whenever I was saying that I'm fine because of ritual. So if they had. To fairies, so if they have if they have counterspell here, 
because of you know these ley lines I don't get to discard. I can't duress. Yeah, ego targets. Me. Yeah, like these these will target. I know what must be done. I'm gonna do 10 damage to this thing. Alright, three little fairies down. If if that other ritual no, sit would have got countered, then I would have drawn two cards with the Dragon God to look for another Ritual of Soot, Legion's End, all that kind of stuff. So they're down to 15 cards in Library. Why didn't you return a Teferi to prevent them from having veto? Oh, because I didn't really think about that. That's something we could have done. Yeah, I didn't really think about that. That's not a bad idea, though. Yeah, I like that. Then it doesn't matter if they have the Time Raveler out there also, because we'll have our own. That's actually a pretty good idea there. That's their fourth time raveler. I like that idea. Let's do that. Late. What am I doing? 31 cards? I got plenty of cards. Or not. Yeah, I got plenty of cards left. So we can draw some more. I am omnipotent. I guess they have the blast. They can blow up Blast Zone to kill my little Teferi. In response to, and then counter ritual of soot. But we had we had soot and legions end. We we had that locked up pretty good. But I guess technically they could. Uh, they didn't have the mana to blow up blast zone and counter something. Actually, so yeah, we were just good. All right. That's how I uh, that's how I hope our matches against Scape Shift go. A little more there. That was on our Mold of Five, that game. Also.
Hey, Soul Farmer. All right, one more match here with Grixis Control, then we'll move on to our other decks today. We're two and two. We got the rubber match here. Hmm. The Cavalier of Thorns may be better than the Risen Reef, actually. Yeah, let's take Cavalier of Thorns. Uh, what are you doing, Narset? So, like, I, I bedevil the Risen Reef, and then I play Ravager, and then... We'll see what else we have. Maybe we should have kept the Narset. I haven't found anything to do yet. I'd like to draw a Dragon God, but Narset does help me find Dragon God. Just gonna sit to make it so they draw less cards off of, like if they have Krasis. Like that could have, that could be worth three cards there if they had Krasis. No, they just have nothing. No, no, no modern on arena. So we didn't see any of their top end, you know, as far as like crisis Nissa uh, manipulation. I don't know, like I don't know if I'm supposed to be scared of manipulation or not. Um, Cavalier Thorns is certainly a problematic card. Hey, Team of Bug, that can be a problematic card. Noxious Grasp is going to be better than a Cast Down. I wonder if I really want these Cry the Carnariums. You think my opponent's going to have some manipulation? Yeah, that's a, that's a card I'm definitely scared of. Let's let's go ahead and ego Cavalier Crisis manipulation. Those are all cards that I want to ego. Hmm. 
How does this look? One calf net, one cast down. Yeah, oh yeah, Legion's End. I forgot about that card. I just kind of glossed over that one. I probably should be cutting some Legion's End in this matchup, actually. It's not it's not nearly as good in this matchup as it is others. Like, I think I'd rather have cast down than Legion's End, for example. Bleh. This hand's very bleh. Darn it. Got punished for keeping steam vents and not swamp. Opponent's hand is perfect. Ours is very bleh. Yeah, hitting Krasis is really nice. With Legion's End. Cavalier of Thorns. Why is my opponent keeping all these Blood Suns in? Oh, because they're playing Lotus Field? Sure. So, yep, there's two manipulation. Yo called it. Little bunch crisis. Don't think we're winning this game. Those being gone is nice, but they're about to ramp a, a ton here. Maybe we'll draw Ritual of Sit. I don't know. We're not. I mean, I have one Bedevil and one Ugin, and they're going to have infinite cards because of these Risen Reefs. <laughs> I am not winning. So of course the problem with playing with Narset is that it dies to Nessa. I'm gonna hope my opponent plays Nessa before Krasis. Krasis, Nissa, Manipulation. Those are all difficult cards to deal with. No, I'm not a I'm not really a root beer drinker. I don't really like sodas. I just drink water and juice. Another pretty meh hand here.
It's tough to deal with the card advantage that, that those cards provide. is mean. No, there's no interaction between Blood Sun and Nessa's lands. Blood Sun's kind of helping us out. We don't have to pay two life for that watery grave there. Yeah, I should. I could have taken a look at their deck again, just in case. I certainly could have. I mean, that's, that's the smarter thing to do. I just, just kind of said, oh well. Yeah, I probably should have. Yuck. All right, where is red mana? The focus and discipline. Meditate and prepare. There's one red mana. I shall miss your company. More red mana, please. Both for them and for me. Come on, last card's Krasis. Every card is just a blue black land. Or, uh, yeah, our Demir deck is not doing good over here. What a beating. <laughs> uh, I mean, do I do I want to draw Kefnet? I mean, I, I would. If the next two cards are not red lands. Like, Kefnet doesn't help against Cavalier Thorns. What's Kefnet really going to do anyway? I don't know. Just, I'm going to decline. Yeah, this, this is kind of what happened with our first match against Gape Shift. Of, felt a lot like this. Sweet. Card doesn't do anything. I'd much rather that get negated than, you know, Bedevil or Nicobolus or any of those cards get negated. Come on. <laughs> That's why they negated. GG. Yeah, sometimes you just draw all your watery graves and no red lands.
Oh well. Um, so yeah, while while the deck went two and three, you know, there were definitely some, you know, some circumstances that happened with that. I uh, did learn like the green decks are difficult. Like those are those are hard. Um, season of growth was was a huge problem, and my opponent, you know, having turn two season of growth, both game like games two and three, against me with the feather deck. Even when I had turn two thought razor for a season of growth, and they then they still played season of growth on turn turn two still that's definitely a hole and then uh for the most part you don't really see the elementals too much these days elementals are definitely good you don't see them too much though and we saw that that can be a problem cavalier crisis um but i mean that that game i mean i couldn't i just couldn't cast my spells and so you know, we saw like that was just some pretty bad luck of not being able to cast any of my spells. Also, didn't play against vampires, so didn't get to try that one out. Went one one against Scape Shift. I think I'm I think I'm more than fifty percent against Scape Shift though. I think we're favored. We're not winning. We're not going to win all the time against Scape Shift, but I think we're favored here, and I I think we're going to be favored against um, vampires too with the deck main thing is making you know can we can we do you know good enough against like the elementals deck you know like hopefully we'd be like 50 percent or so um yeah i didn't see any any of those red sources <laughs> that was rough um so yeah with this with yeah a lot of the metagame is scapeshift and vampires and that's that's what i'm really excited about with grixis control that's what i'm excited about with this this list is i think that Think we can do really well against those two, and honestly, I don't really mind my Esper matchup too much. The thing about Grixis is it's, especially like last season, it was definitely behind Esper, but it's Esper kind of has like some some better cards. The reason why I like Grixis a little bit over Esper though is you get Blood Sun, which is huge against the Scape Shift decks, but the Esper decks are really tuned towards beating those two decks also like the esper decks that you run into you know they're playing tons of deputy detentions and stuff like that like they're they're really trying to beat um scapeshift and vampires and i think that that bodes well for grixis um that it's not like the the esper the esper versions that we saw during war of the spark when it's just all planeswalkers and elder spells and everything those are those are really tough matchups for grixis control um but the last couple of times i've played against esper i've done pretty well um, and uh, the Legion War bosses are huge there in the sideboard. They're they're pretty important um, in the sideboard there for that. Um, but yeah, so this is this is the deck that I'm likely playing. As I talked about at the beginning of the video, this is the deck I'm likely playing next uh, next Saturday when there is the MCQ. The, the mythic qualifier thing um this is the deck i'll likely be playing for that so we're gonna have to practice it some more we're gonna have to <laughs> keep tuning it i don't i don't you know i would i would assume that my numbers are not perfect of course um so we'll have to kind of keep seeing i've been i've been less impressed with kefnet the last few times we've played it so we saw like kefnet that game just never triggered i've been less impressed with kefnet so i'm wondering if i should move away from Kefnet, maybe more like another like Ugin Liliana type thing. Um, I don't know, you know, like those are options. Like I kind of want to play drawn a uh, drawn from dreams, um, but it, it's nice just having a large creature though. Also, that can just like block and and give you uh, some good defense and things like that too. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll, I'll be streaming the MCQ, of course. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's Grixis Control for today. I. Uh, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it, of course. And if so, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I kind of like that. I kind of like playing a Hostage Taker instead of a Kefnet. Hostage Taker is actually really nice in this metagame. That's a good call there, Matthew. I like that. Um, Chandra 3 has been pretty good. It's not spectacular against like the creature aggro. I, I border out a good amount, but, but she has... 
she's been just fine. Um, but there we go. All right, so that's Grixis Control. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.